In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a Canva website template to Google Sites. It's super straightforward, but make sure you follow the tutorial the whole way through to ensure you get every step correct and you don't mess anything up. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, we actually need to go into Canva and we need to go ahead and get ourselves a website. So I'm going to go over to the website section here and it's going to give you a load of different templates. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find one which I think looks good. I like the look of this one. That's quite cool. So you can do this on the free plan or you can do this on the paid plan. Just remember if you are on the free plan then there are some that you can't use. So this you can't use, this you can't use. But you know, maybe maybe upgrade to the pro one if you really need to. Anyway, so here we are. We've got our website here. I'm just going to change it a little bit. So easy L. You want to go ahead and customize it to your liking essentially. So anyway, once we've gone ahead and we've customized the site fully to our liking, we need to go ahead and go to the top where it says share. So we're going to click share. Then we're going to go down to where it says more and we want to go to where it says embed. Now there are other ways to do this, but I think this is the easiest way. So we click on embed and then click embed here. And it's going to give us two things here. It's going to give us HTML embed code or smart embed link. Now smart embed link basically works if you have a website which integrates directly with Canva. HTML embed code is better in my opinion. It gives us a lot more flexibility with what we can do. So we're going to go ahead and copy this code up here and we're ready to transfer this over to the Google site. So now we're, at, we're on the Google Sites website, we can go ahead and we can implement this. So what I would recommend doing is going over to where it says pages up here. And then at the bottom, there's a little add icon here. And you can add a new page here if you want to. But instead, what I'd recommend doing is instead of adding a new page, add a full page embed. So we'll click that there. And then for the name, we can just call this Canva one or Canva homepage. It really depends. What I'd recommend doing is basically um, creating each page in Canva and then, you know, bringing it across. Anyway, we want to click done. And once we've clicked done, we can click add embed. You can also do this from drive, which is the other way I was telling you about. We're going to click add embed and then we're going to click embed code. And we're basically going to go ahead and paste that code that we've just got from Canva into here. Now that we've gone ahead and pasted it in there, we want to click next. And it will take a second, but you can see it's now here. And we're going to press insert. And boom, you can see that the whole page that we just, um, you know, made is now here in Google Sites. Now, the next step I would recommend you do is go ahead to the top up here and then just publish this site. Um, it's going to ask you, you know, to, what we were going to call it. Just put like a little name in it. It's like test site or whatever. And then it's going to open up into a new window once you've published it. So I've got mine here and you can see from here, I can test out the site to see if it actually works. So we can see, you know, the text here, you can click and drag across it. So it basically shows you that it's not just an image, it is actually a website which once you, you know, code the different parts into it, it will be interactive and it will work well. So that's how you do it. You basically want to keep going back and forth at this point and then, um, you know, edit each different thing, add new pages and just keep publishing them onto your uh, Google site so that it works well. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it helped you out. Thank you for watching.